I remember my first race with Mbulai Nolaudi was in Doha. It was the first time I met Nolaudi. I just heard about his name, that he is uh, a vendor boy, as they call him. At that time, I was still at the prime. I was number one in South Africa in the 800 meters. But I remember in the last 300 meters, I was defending the race. Bulaide was still behind me. And uh, I thought, let me pick up the pace. You know, while I, as, I, as I pick up the pace, I had him making the sound. Then I, 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 I from my experience, I was saying, his chest is burning. Let me pick it up again. 150, I say now I'm going for, for Keith. He's a young boy. I'm his mentor. Let me go for it. And I still hear the teeth. Yeah. 100 meters to go, I said, I have to finish this boy. He's young. I'm, 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 I'm the older one here now. You know, he just come here and must be. You know, while I was thinking like that, I tried to push ahead, see? But that time when he said the thing, the thing was passing. <laughs> so, a tough guy, he always says to me, old man, where now you go allowing Let me go and take care of them, follow me. And I would always say, let me assist you. But I've never beaten him, I've beaten him only three times in his career and it's a great loss to South Africa. We were about to start our own project in, in Venda in his hometown where he will assist the young athlete with his message and uh, I would like to say to Bully, go oh well my friend, thanks for what you've done for me and thanks for what you've done for South Africa. Thank you.